Hello again. I thought I should just try to make a video to explain the mathematics behind the, the hang printer. Okay. So I will start really easily uh, with a 1D hang printer. Like uh, a hang printer moving only in a line. And then we will slowly try to step up to 2D hang printer and 3D hand printer. This is my camera uh, camera mount, so bear with me. Trying to make this video real quick. Let's see. So there you can see. Uh, okay. So a 1D hand printer. It would have a print head. Right there, and it would have an axis to move along, and it would need to have two anchor points. So, this is an anchor, and this is an anchor. And uh, to move the print head. It would need to shorten this line length. Let's call this anchor A and this other anchor B. So this is line length A and this is line length B. And say this is coordinate zero and say minus 10 millimeters is there and 10 millimeters is there so to move from from here to here it would need to uh, make line a 10 millimeters shorter and the line b 10 millimeters longer uh, this might seem uh, quite a trivial example but uh, a hang printer like this, uh, called a slide printer, has actually existed and it <laughs> moved along just one axis before I got the time to to develop the firmware properly. I'll try to clip that in here. Okay, but uh, this is really important, uh, the, the names of things, this is printed, it's there, and the lines are attached uh, at two ends we see, we call those pivot points. And uh, there are different kinds of pivot points. There are anchor points, and we sometimes call the other end of the line the action point. Lots of text here now. So to so say uh, the printer is currently at position zero and uh, line A is then currently say minus 100 so this is the position of anchor A is at minus 100 the position of anchor B say 200 and to move the motors, uh, let's see. Uh, let's say we wanted to move, move over here to position minus ten, and.
and as we said earlier, line A needs to be then um, needs to be ninety. Here I actually made a mistake. The line length is always a positive number, uh, but the position of anchor A is not always a positive number. Doing this real quick was hard. I should anchor A is minus 100, anchor B is, we said 200, 200, 200. And now these are all the numbers we need to know about that position, but uh, the printer wants to move to a new position now. It wants to move to position minus 10. Position minus 10. Line A needs to be... It needs to be anchor A minus, uh, minus the position. which is minus 100, minus, minus 10. Minus and minus gives plus. So here it's uh, 90. And we're back to this magical thing that line lengths are always positive. So we add this. It's called the absolute value. It, when you when you wrap things into vertical lines like that, it means don't care about the sign, it's always plus. It's an absolute value, so the answer is 90. Line B. I'm doing all this arithmetic because we're going to do that in 2D and 3D later on. Uh, I'm sure you understand that moving 10, 10 millimeters away from the anchor would we'll just add 10 millimeters to the line length. So 210 is the right answer. But let's get to it the long way. Anchor B minus position, which is minus 10, plus 200 minus minus 10. Minus and minus is plus, so we get 200 and so uh, this calculation is what what the firmware needs to do in the one dimensional hand printer uh, for every position it wants to move to it has to do uh, this uh, subtraction the anchor minus the position Okay, okay, okay. That's all well and good. Hope I'm not too confusing. I will try to to level up to make a 2D hand printer. Means it can move in along a line, but it can move also along another line, so it can move in the whole plane. It can draw things. Let's see, this is my setup I have prepared for you guys. And I will even try to record myself with this GoPro. Yeah, it's recording. And I will try to record some better sound with this sound program hello hello okay and I will record this screen here great stopping the mobile okay hello
let's try to show you what happens in two dimensions is this a good idea i don't know okay um i'm in the command line now I'm not trying to scare anyone uh hang on. let's say slide print slide printer dot scat I thought I might I might draw this whole thing in SCAD because that's fun. Let's try to draw the print head. Uh, print head might be 30 millimeters tall. Let's call this a print head. kind of ugly let's do a symbolical printed and make it much smaller so that's the printed and it has some lines let's make them red um, and let's do Let's draw one line first. Cylinder diameter, uh, say it has a diameter of one millimeter and a height of. Uh, this is a thousand millimeter, it's a whole meter, and we rotate it down like that. So this is a line. This looks very much like the. <laughs> like the 1D hand printer. Actually, one meter is too much for this. It's uh, 10 centimeters of line. And that's uh, great. Let's make three lines. For k equals zero. Uh, from zero to in steps of 120 to 359 degrees. Rotate around the z-axis like that so now we have a 2d hand printer we have three line lengths and we have three motors so three axes we call them a like before and b like before and the new thing is the C uh, C axis. I need some tea. Okay. Um, so we want to move the print head in this system. Then we need to uh, know about Pythagoras theorem. Okay. How do I record that? I will uh, I'll try to just place out another print head and put it at the same position as before maybe. Yeah, we can do that. So 10 millimeters closer to the A anchor just like we did in the 1D example. So now the line lengths are different. Let's place out some uh, place out some marks at the anchors because otherwise we will get uh, we will get very confused. So a sphere of diameter 3 and let's translate that like that so here we have our, our three anchors and just like before we need to need to know the positions of those anchors 
uh, anchor A is at x is 0, y is minus 100, and z is 0. We don't have a third axis yet. Anchor B is is the same but rotated so it is on the x-axis it's cos 30 times 100 is sinus and cosinus from school it's at 30 degrees here it's 100 Let's see if we can color yellow and if we can draw this translate anchor A the spear So that's anchor A. Can we do the same for anchor B? Anchor B that's anchor B and anchor C is same as anchor B with the minus on the S X axis anchor C so now we have the three anchors and we have the three positions and we know them they are known so we can calculate line lengths so a line length A I'm sure you know what I'm, uh, or maybe you don't know. Line A, like we did before, it will be, I don't know if you remember Pythagoras theorem. Let's bring up Pythagoras theorem. Okay, I had some tabs up. Let's do it again. Pythagoras theorem. It states uh, that the length of C here, that will be our line length, is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. D squared plus that squared. So you take the square root on both sides here and you find uh, what uh, C is. Let's see, here they do it with a square root. So that's what we're going to do because we want to find the line lengths. These are uh, triangles, you see, and we want the, this one, the longest, longest one. So we do skirt square root of, of uh, this, uh, the x-axis length from the printhead so that is let's say let's call like before pos equals the position of the printhead pos so we want pos do, do it like that we want the, the x-axis the, the, the x-coordinate this zero here Uh, minus the anchor let's say anchor A start with anchor A anchor A zero does it complain now? no and we want to square that how do you square an open SCAD? That's itself as echo L L A so we know what we have. View uh, the where is the window height console zero. So this is known, it's zero minus zero. It's expected, but then we have the y-axis. So here we 
just take the y coordinate of all of them. Bam. And now we have 90. The length of A is 90. Is there some way we can use that number to show you? I don't know. Let's just calculate all the line lengths first. Length B is anchor. We just change A for B in the same equation. Pythagoras. Length of B is 105. And length of C should be the same. C is the same. So if if the if the firmware now uh, drives the motors, so it, uh, to create these three line lengths, then it will force the print head to move to exactly that position because that's the only position uh, where those three lines have exactly those three lengths. So that's how the uh, slide printer works. I should cut in uh, a video of the slide printer in operation, drawing things in 2D. Mm -mm -mm. So now let's start getting more serious. Now we want to draw the lines actually being attached the print head. How do I do that? I need some code from hang printer source line from two, I think it's called. So we want this function. Let's just tick it at the top there. And we can try to draw the lines from the anchors to the printed line from to from anchor A to hos and let's say R equals 2 right. We have the lines with no, we have them with one. D R equals 0.5. Great color red. I want red lines so nobody trips. Then we can remove the old ones. Bam. And we just Do the same for B and C. Bam. There we have it. And printed is there. Great. So now we, we let's uh, just move the posts around so I show you that I actually did something. Let's call this um, minus 10 plus 20 times t. Bam. And then we can animate it. Mm -hmm. Design view. Animate. Frames per second, five. There's five. Zoom, zoom. Or we can make pulse like twenty times cos uh, t times three sixty and. Sin 
So this should draw a circle. Right. Let's do 50 steps. Okay, so here we have an animation going. And our firmware, we're simulating our hang printer firmware with these lines of code that are just Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem calculating line lengths. And we're simulating the G code. Simulating G1 commands. So in this simulation, we see this time goes from 0 to 1, shows right here. And now I want to show you why this all works for the slide printer. Let's take up the slide printer. Vimeo.com There was once a slide printer. This is the machine I'm talking about. So it has the A axis, the B axis, and the C, C axis. Never mind, I call them X, Y, and Z at the moment, but they are the A, B, and C in the hang printer coordinate system. And that machine could actually draw things. Let's see here. I have to scroll to the very beginning of the hang printer project. Scroll, 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 scroll. feel very unsure that I still have you on the line, but scrolly, 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 scrolly. This is a slide printer six years ago. Time flies. Come on, internet. Look, it moves. And and I want to show you that the lines, the action points are are not at the center. They're not at the same point like they are in this animation here. They're spread out. And uh, one might wonder, why does this still work? Is the math still the same? And I want to show you that, yes, it is. It is still the same. And I want to make that argument by showing you an animation. Stop it for now. And let's make another of, the, uh, of these idealized hang printers just um, with an offset so uh, let's make it down here uh, the other slide printer anchor and let's anchor a and just add an offset offset uh, 10 millimeters to the x one millimeter to the y y just to show you offset anchor b plus offset and anchor c plus o offset bam three new anchors
let's make them not the yellow, but let's make them green. So here, okay, they're not super visible. Light green. So um, that's another hand printer. Let's imagine we, or a slide printer. Let's we imagine we have two slide printers. And uh, the other slide printer, it wants to do the exact same motion as the first one. Pause plus offset. And uh, let's try to to draw it. It's printed as well. There with the same offset. And let's give it some lines as well. It could have, uh, let's give it pink lines. Like that. So now we have two hand printers. They're moving exactly in tandem like that. And that looks a bit like, let's see. And now, okay, let's add a third one real quick. Offset C, C, and it maybe just like that. Slant C, slant C, slant C. It light red lines. And uh, bam. Let's take some time to update. Okay, it's just complex about something. 114. What did I do? Post. The third anchor A is C. C like that plus offset C. And we need to do our calculate our lines from the right to the right positions. Uh, it seems like light red doesn't exist. Uh, just give it another color then. It's just a uh, cyan color. Now, now I have three slide printers on top of each other and their line lengths are exactly the same. And now I want to make it sh look like this, this machine here. If we have established that since this pattern is exactly the same as the pattern between the three print heads, uh, these three lines that go down to the three A anchors, they have exactly the same line lengths at all times. And the same with the, with the C lines here. The three lines have exactly the same lengths. 
because they they have this are the same motions just offset by these two offsets that I have created. So now let's try uh, start stripping the lines like that. We take away two lines from the C anchor and we take away two lines from the B anchor and we take away two lines from the A anchor and now this all looks like the slide printer and that is why it works and let's now imagine that these three things here are not printheads actually those three th things are spools or they are action points bam three spools and the printhead is like this uh, Let's do translate apple C minus. Where should we place it? It doesn't really matter, but um, it could be anywhere as long as it has a fixed position compared to the three. Compared to the three anchors, and the three, <laughs> the three spools, the three action points. I in the physical machine, uh, the printhead was in the center. Let's try to put it in the center. We need to go Okay, there. So there are the printed color. It's a bit annoying that when I move around, it starts moving. Okay. Yoohoo! It's working! And it's good to notice here that it's really important to 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 consider line A as going from anchor A, uh, the the pivot anchor anchor pivot point A, to the action point A. And for the B line, it goes from the anchor B to the action point B. And where the the, the position of the printed is really irrelevant as long as it's uh, fixed compared to the spools. It's at a fixed distance from the spool at all times. Okay, great. I don't know if I should take this any further. I don't think so. To, to make it a 3D hang printer you simply add the the fourth anchor. The fourth anchor is the D anchor, as in A, B, C, D. And you place that anchor above the printhead to be able to lift it. 
Okay. Um, I think that's it. So, line lengths. Pythagoras theorem. That's my that's my message here. Use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. <laughs>